Hey guys, it's Andrew, and I have a story here to read to you. It's called, If You Give a Pig a Pancake. And it's a cute, short little story about a very busy pig and a little girl that tries to help the pig with all of its wishes and activities. Um, so it's kind of like cause and effect. Like, if you give a pig a pancake, then what will happen next? Um, so we see the future tense. Um, a lot in this story. You'll see um, the pig is a, a girl, so it's referred to as she, and then you'll see shul, like um, with apostrophe LL, which we know is the contraction of she will. And we also see that with the pronoun you, or you apostrophe LL, which comes out you'll. So anytime you see that shul or you'll, we know it's uh, just the future tense with the apostrophe LL. So, uh, let's get started. So let's read If You Give a Pig a Pancake by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a pig a pancake, she'll want some syrup to go with it. You'll give her some of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably get all sticky. So she'll want to take a bath. She'll ask you for some bubbles. When you give her the bubbles, she'll probably ask you for a toy. You'll have to find your rubber duck. The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born. She might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She'll want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Then she'll look under your bed. When she's under the bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. She'll try them on. She'll probably need something special to wear with them. When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece, and she'll start dancing. Then she'll want you to take her picture. So you'll have to get your camera. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to take more. Then, she'll want to send one to each of her friends. You'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps. And take her to the mailbox. On the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard. She'll want to build a tree house. So, you'll have to get her some wood a hammer, and some nails. When the treehouse is finished, she'll want to decorate it. She'll ask for wallpaper and glue. When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. Feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, she'll want a pancake to go with it. And that's the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed it and liked seeing um, all the crazy things that the pig did 
and how she starts and ends the day by eating pancakes. So, um, leave a comment below uh, letting me and Christina know what you thought of the book. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for listening, and until next time, bye-bye.